Hello friends, my name is Manishi Gratiyagi and this is my channel The Living Science. Here you find the knowledge of some interesting facts of life as useful. And today's question of mine here is what is aminosynthesis and why it is spring? But before I tell you all about this, we all must be very well aware about the basic principle involved in this aminosynthesis. Basically, this aminosynthesis is a kind of sex determination test, right? Based on the chromosomal pattern of study of an individual. This test is useful to judge the sex of an individual of the unborn fetus, so also known as sex determination test. Okay. The next one is this test has been evolved to judge some kind of abnormalities in the unborn fetus. Actually, some kind of uncurable abnormalities in the unborn fetus. And what kind of abnormalities it is useful to judge? I'm going to tell you first. Some kind of biochemical abnormalities some kind of enzymatic abnormalities and some kind of congenital defect as well and if some kind of such defects are being observed in the unborn fetus like for example i could say like if our fetus is going to suffer with sickle cell anemia in future then we are able to judge this when he or she is not even born by using this test right and if these diseases are uncurable, like he is going to suffer with HIV or he is going to suffer with cancer, I, could, I should say actually. So I could judge them before his or her birth and then we could cure. Or if they are uncurable, then we could abort the fetus. Right? So this was the basic requirement for this test. But now our government has to bend this test or I could say that it has bent this test because some parents are using this test to judge the sex of the fetus and if she is the female then parents abort the fetus. Right? So this is being used nowadays to judge the gender and if gender is female then abortion is the only option parents think that it is now. Because no one is waiting for a female child actually. Most of the parents are not waiting for female child. Right? So this was the reason behind the ban of this test. Now I had tell you about why this test has been evolved, what this test is and why this has been banned. And what kind of abnormalities it is useful to judge. Now the next question or the next theory I would like to tell you here about the basic procedure hidden behind this test. Right? So I'm going to tell you basically what we do here is we took the fluid through an injection actually we inject a blank injection at the tummy of the mom when she is pregnant then we eject out some kind of fluid known as aminocytic fluid from the bomb of the mom which is being surrounded the whole fetus we will eject out such fluid which is surrounding the whole fetus then we will study that fluid right so study of that fluid and that fluid is being surrounded through a uh, cavity known as aminocytic cavity so we will eject out this fluid and then we will study the whole chromosomal arrangement of the fetus we'll know about the gender of the baby we'll know about some kind of abnormalities if he or she is going to suffer we'll know about what will be the theory all the theories regarding the baby's whole life whether congenital whether genetic or whatever kind of abnormalities are all about so this is the answer of today's question of mine that what is amino Synthesis, why it is being used and what is the basic theory and procedure hidden behind this test. If you people like my videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. 